Hey, and welcome back to Unusual Pets. Today we have the Wigan Show, which is a brand new show of 2024, so let's have a look. going to show you a little tiny bit of footage from the show and then we'll get on with what we picked up uh, so i'm not going to waffle too much i'm going to show you what we've seen that was the Wigan show as you saw we did some um, enclosure building with Noah uh, we kind of just left him to put it how he wanted it we gave him a little hand when things were going to fall over or stuff like that um, and to put some of the bugs in where he was really struggling um, but he really enjoyed it and if you really liked uh, the little bit of footage I showed you go over and check out Scott's inverts video because he's got a lot more footage on there um, and he explains what's going on a lot better so go over and check him out I'll link him down below in the description um, but Noah was absolutely brilliant and it was a lot of fun building that enclosure with him. Um, I did run around uh, with him on my lap for a little bit uh, with my wheelchair, which he absolutely loved. Um, and I just told everybody I stole the child because I kind of did, but <laughs> he's so adorable. Um, but yeah, that was the bit of show footage. Now I'm going to show you what we picked up. Um, so the pickups, absolutely awesome. Um little bit of background we stayed in the airbnb with um phil's mum and dad and phil and amy so caroline and andrew phil amy and me and terry uh we had an airbnb for the evening um we also went out to two spoons for some food and we also had some visitors to the airbnb which was rebecca from silver webbers um so if you want to go check her out she'll be linked down below as well um, she actually bought us over a load of gifts so I'm going to do that first because that was the evening before um, we actually got this absolutely gorgeous Pac-Man frog which I'm going to show you now he is absolutely stunning um, absolutely love him to pieces and we have to come up with a name for him he's now sat in his water bowl he's now sat in his water bowl which actually doesn't have any water left in it he's knocked it all over um, but we are going to get him set up into a nice new enclosure um, with uh, some moss and all different bits and pieces. I'll probably make a video on that so um, Keep tuned for that. I still have to put out the spa spider video which you will have seen before this one hopefully and um, That obviously this video so it's going to be a couple of days until this uh, Rehousing is done. Uh, well, it'll be done, but it'll be filmed and then put on later date but yeah, we have to figure out a name for him. My other one is called Cubert because my first one was called 8-Bit. Batman being an 8-Bit game. Um, so I wanted another 8-Bit game so I said Cubert because I thought it was adorable. So now I need a new one for this. I'm thinking something along the lines of maybe um, Kong or something like that to do a Donkey Kong. But I don't know. I'm trying to think of one. Uh, Terry keeps telling me he should call him Mario but I just don't think that works. So yeah. That is that. The next thing we actually got from Rebecca was um, these. There's one for me and one for Terry. Um, so Terry didn't feel left out. It's a little uh, tub of stick insects. Now, I'm pretty sure these are Indian stick insects, although Rebecca wasn't sure. Um, they look very much like um, Indian stick insects, and I do have some. So um, I'm pretty sure they are. 
The next thing I got was uh, these are two caterpillars, um, also from Rebecca, and these are a type of silk moth. Now these are fed on privet, so I'm going to get these into a nice little enclosure with some privet. Um, they're all right in here, but I'm going to get them into one of my um, mesh ones. The uh, giant atlas moth caterpillars, they've all cocooned now, so these will probably go into their enclosure and they are going to go into a bigger enclosure ready to hatch into moths which is going to be a couple of weeks um so these are probably going to their old enclosure and be happy in there so that was all the gifts that we had the night before off rebecca um i also did get these off amy 25 jesteroy um my colony crashed so she bought me some um babies to be able to put in i have got a couple of adults in there and one is gravid um but I don't have many at all. I think there's like four in total. So having some new bloodline to add in and to help them out will be absolutely awesome. So the first thing we actually picked up was these um, really cute little spirally pieces of wood. Um, these are from Salford Spoods. Um, they've got all their details on there. I'm just going to put these back in the bag so they don't get broke. Um, I got a couple of their cards. There we go. And I've got a couple of their stickers too. Um, really, really cute. Oh, I've got hiccups, sorry. Um, then we got a little thank you pack. The little monster is adorable. Um, I think there's some stickers and cards and stuff in there. So I'm going to pop that back in the bag. Thank you so much for them. Um, I was meant to come back and visit again, but I actually never got around to coming back. So it was a bit of a pain. Um... The next thing that I picked up, um, this is pretty much dry stock. Oh, I got the uh, cork back in the, um, was it the London video, I think? No, was it? No, the BTS video, what I, I said I needed. Um, so I got that, so thank you very much for everyone who reminded me. Um, I also picked up this absolutely gorgeous little frog. Um, I've already got three frogs from... Um, Caroline over at uh, Amazing Reptiles, which is Phil's mum and dad. Um, she sells these gorgeous plushy uh, dart frogs, which I really love. Um, I haven't got a dart frog enclosure, so I really want one. But for now, the plushies will have to do. But they are very, very cute. So he's going to go up there with his, with one of his other ones. There we go. And another plushie I got was this. I got from Amy from Night Owl uh, Crystals. She gave me this her mum made them they are so adorable and they actually tie around your wrist um so they're like a little wrist um like a little bracelet for your wrist but it's a little snake it's so cute so yeah she, i got pink and yellow absolutely love it um and i think that's it for dry stock um i didn't buy any plants i don't oh i did i did buy some plants they're actually outside from Amazing Reptiles, which is Phil's mum and dad. Um, I got a couple of different plants for the tortoise. So they're outside, so I can't really show you them, but they're really, really beautiful. Um, if you need any tortoise food, go over and check them out or any of the shows, because they sell all tortoise safe plants um, that you can put into their enclosure if you have an outdoor enclosure or you can feed them, whatever. The next thing that we picked up was, well, I say we, Terry picked up was this, which is some Javan hissing cockroaches. Um, these were from the bug jungle um, there's five in here so he's going to get these rehoused um, in with his other ones and then he's gonna he's got some tips on how to get them to breed because for some reason ours haven't bred um, so he's gonna have a try at that the next thing that um, oh here we go I forgot this for the dry stock um, I actually picked up this £19 from Custom Aquaria a nice little enclosure this is actually going to be for my six side sand spider um, who needs a new house. Um, I do need to figure out um, a way of getting some enclosures like this for my centipedes maybe, but I'm unsure at the minute. But these are absolutely awesome for my six side sand spider. Um, it's a little bit taller and a little bit deeper than the other one that he's in, so he's going to have a little bit more space. Um, because he's molted and he's getting bigger, so yeah that's that uh, the next thing that we actually well terry picked up um he gave he went to speak to post pods um awesome db he's lovely um we've spoken to him a few times got a lot of ice pods off him 
um absolutely awesome seller for isopods if you want any of the more high-end stuff um i do a lot of the sort of more basic stuff but um i don't have um big enough colonies of the more high-end stuff yet so i'm still working on that um but terry swapped over some bits and pieces with him and um he we've got his card and his stickers in the bag but we've got a mystery bag um i'll just show you now what they look like so this is the mystery bag um which is really awesome uh it was i think it was only like a 10 pound or something mystery bag so that was awesome um but we got um some more powder blues uh, i say powder blues powder oranges sorry and we got some panda kings which is really awesome because i can pop these into the colonies i've got and insert a bit more uh, fresh bloodline in so that's going to be really epic. I have a lot of different um, species that I actually do need to inject some new bloodlines into. And then we got these. Now these I am super excited about. Uh, these are the Cubaris Red Panda. Um, I don't have these yet. These are one of my um, like ones that I really, really wanted. Um, really, really happy with these. They are £50. Um I'm just trying to see if I can see any. Um, I'll try and get you some footage um, so you can see them, but they're really, really pretty species. So I picked up also these, which is the Philippus Johnsoni or um, Philippus Ardens, they're also called, which is the Widow Jumping Spider. Absolutely gorgeous species. I've already got three of them. Um, I decided to get a couple extras. Um, just really, really beautiful species. So we also got one of these gorgeous little pygmy wood scorpions from Tim Baxter. Um, had to edit in after because I had to get Terry to get some footage of it. But um, here it is. Very, very cute. No, it isn't. The next thing we picked up is the McClay Stick Insect. Um, they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, I've got a male and a female and she's already laying eggs. So hopefully we should have some babies off them um we've had them before but it's been a little while since we've had them absolutely gorgeous huge stick insect and the final thing that we picked up from the show was this which is the asian forest scorpion it's a um spinifer uh with he's a little bit attitude -y, but that's fine i absolutely love him to pieces already he's got such a cool attitude but yeah that is what we picked up from the show so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I have picked up some bits off Spa Spiders. Go check them out. I will link them down below. And also go check out my unboxing video from their mystery box. Um, but I have picked up a lot of stuff from them. Um, which will be uh, being stocked on my table at Bristol, hopefully. So I will have some more spiders and stuff. Um, I'm not going to tell you what I got because I need to I don't want to like say oh, I've got these for stock and then everyone wants to buy stuff and then I end up with no stock for Bristol so we'll just leave it at that for now um but yeah thank you very much for watching um it was an absolute awesome weekend thank you everybody and I'll see you again next time bye